Hi everyone, I'm Sophie at c and Publishing and I'm here to give you a little mini trunk show of one of our books, Artful Embroidery on Canvas by Irene Schlesinger. And uh, the subtitle is Get Creative with Thread, Fabric, Paper, Acrylic Mediums, and more. And that's right, there's a lot more to this than even just those items. I'm gonna show you a bunch of the actual projects that are in the book and you are gonna get a little sneak peek of what's inside. So Irene does uses uh, pre-stretched canvases that you get at the craft store and does this really cool embroidery, uh, kind of almost mixed media uh, work on the canvases. And she's gonna tell you uh, tips and tricks on how to do the embroidery on the canvases since, since they're so thick and different, um, things to use she t she does um, she has a few themes that run through the book and one of them is she does a lot with skulls which is kind of cool and this is also using craft text from us there are actually there's some craft text behind these colors and here she's filled in uh, with embroidery all sorts of cool just simple straight stitches and then she's done this great little uh, flower headband on the skull so there's one of our um, one of our many skulls you're gonna see. Uh, she also adds really cute um, little metal pieces called milagros that are also uh, found in Mexico. So this definitely has a like Day of the Dead theme to it with this skull. And she's added some cool mirrors. So she's gonna teach you how to attach the mirrors and stitch around them um, to bring that interest to the eyes here on that one. And um, this one is using, it's a, a I'm gonna forget the name of the piece. It's a little bigger than a Milagro. It has another name in Spanish. And uh, here she's done again, she's a fabric uh, background and then she's added um, an edging to it. But she's gonna show you all of the ways that you can take your threads and really easily, this isn't fussy work, um, so, which is really nice. So think really freedom, being able to think outside the box a little bit with your embroidery, not not feeling like everything has to be so precise. Um, here she used more Milagros, a bunch of little mirrors. Um, here, this is looks like more like a yarn, different yarns than just embroidery thread, which is really neat. She does talk about using um, other materials other than embroidery thread. Um, the other um, element she does a lot with, and there's one on the cover of the book that um, these butterflies is butterflies. And uh, here she's used um, skulls with butterflies. She also added sequins onto this one. She's gonna um, give really clear instructions on how to attach sequins onto the canvases and how you can add that to your own designs. More butterflies we have here where she's um, now painted the background and then added embroidery to the top of a painted background. And I think that's a cool idea that you can really do even any kind of painted background and start learning if you're new to mixed media, how to mix different, uh, different um, mediums. Um, more and we have some more butterflies here. Here's one that says if nothing ever changed there would be no butterflies. I love that and she's used some really uh, some glitter some some glittery uh, gold threads in here a bunch of different threads and there's like actually if you get close you'll see there's like there's like a glue medium to this outside edge to make it really uh, smooth a little more smooth here and tight tighten up all these threads here. Um, and then just this kind of uh, metallic threads really pops the other imagery off. She also does, um, oh here, oops, here's one more cool butterfly. I love the color palette on this one, the teals with the orange. So she does a lot with that, with, you know, working with different colors and mixing colors, really creative in that way. Um, she does a bunch of hearts as well. Here are a bunch of hearts where she's using uh, fabric backgrounds. Uh, she's um, stitching around some cool different uh, materials. This is like a paper, looks like a, sh a metallic paper. Here she's attached, you know, 
from a mixed media standpoint, a, a bird on top of the fabric. So, you know, you can, she really does a lot of different techniques on um, getting creative with things that you love. And then you can add them all to your one canvas. And then last I have from the trunk show that I'm gonna show you. There's more, but there's only so much time. There are some cats and here she's using negative space uh, where the cat is the outline of the cat and she's stitched all the, the space around the cat. And I really find the negative use, her use of negative space to be really interesting. Uh, she's used a cool chenille thread here and created like a city line with this cat. And here, um, she's just done a really nice color palette with the different, um, with a metallic -y. I have a feeling it's some kind of paper that she's put with a glitter paper behind. And then she's done some really interesting stitching here um, as well. So um, Irene has a lot of great ideas for you in Artful Embroidery on Canvas, available at ctpub.com.